collection may be good, it may be slightly off, especially in these little detailed areas right up here at the top. So there's a lot of detail. So how do you see what you've got? How do you really know what you've got? So there's two ways. One is click on select and mask right up here. When you do that, you come to this window and let's reset this so that everybody's looking at the same thing down here. Let reset because you sometimes um, when you when you don't it, it'll it'll do it'll have the settings from the last time you used it. So let's just reset it. So here we go. You see the the white which is um, what it's revealing, and then black is concealing, right? So then in this window, if you press the letter X, and let's zoom in a bit, um, zoom tool right up here. So press the letter X to see the mask again. See the vein right up here and here? They're missing. There's also this spike right here that's missing and all these little wires right here are missing okay so we need to refine our we need to refine our selection a little bit better so um, I'm gonna cancel out of this and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later so let's let's uh, cancel out of this we still have our selection we're still there um, so many times you don't click select and mask what you do is you create a mask like this. So there's your mask. But how do you get to the select and mask? Well, there it is. Um, there is once you have your mask selected, you can click up here. Or if you go to your properties, there's select and mask here also. So select and mask. Now we're back to this little window. Let's reset one more time. There's several options here. Onion skin basically makes the black area slightly transparent. Oh, trans transparent a little bit so you can see what's behind there then there's marching ants shows you the ants the overlay um, on black on white black and white etc um, so overlay will show you a lot of the problems so this gap here needs to be selected it should be pink because I don't I don't I don't want that um, that part there so we're gonna use what's called our uh, our uh, refine refine brush tool right here this tool right here is the refine edge brush tool letter R and with that you can make it bigger or smaller just like any brush all right the square bracket keys and I'm these big white areas here I'm just gonna brush to kind of add them in so you do the same these white areas like that Okay. All right. So now let's switch to a different view. Um, let's switch this to the black and white. So what's cool about this is that as you brush using the refine brush tool and this plus right here, we know that the weather vane is missing up here. So I'm going to refine the edge by clicking and dragging up. And look at that. It kind of magically makes that weather vane come up. And I press letter X to, to I know there's one missing there I know there's this thing here right remember onion skin might help so onion skin O O and then what was the other one K K O and K O and K O what am I missing so I'm just I'm looking to see what I'm missing from my from my image and then I'm gonna add it in using my refined brush tool. These little details right in here. So Go along and find all those missing details. Little detail of the gargoyle here. Okay, something like that. Oh, I missed that part. Little details. Now, as you do that, you'll see these little gray areas that are happening here. So we want that to be completely white. 
So I'm going to get my brush tool here and brush those away so that it becomes white. Why do we want it to be white? Because we don't want any of the... I don't want it to be transparent, in other words. Because if, it, if it's black like that, it'll be transparent. Um, and then whatever is behind this cathedral will come through the cathedral. And we don't want that. Okay, so then see how this is kind of grayish in here? We want that not to be gray. We don't want it to be transparent. So I'm going to zoom in and really think about that part. Brush, make it white. And you can get as detailed as you want um, as far as the image goes. But again, Z to zoom. So there's your zoom tool. If you hold down your option key, it does the opposite. I'm just clicking. If without the option key, I am zooming in, option alt, zoom out, and then back to my brush tool and brush. Z zoom. B brush. Brush tool, um, you paint, when you paint with a plus, you're painting with white. If you hold on your option key, it becomes the minus, and then you can paint with black. Okay, like that. So space bar, you can grab the hand, hand tool, and then you can move around and just check your areas here. Okay, so the uh, B is the brush tool. Um, the option key is either plus or minus. So option key gives you, gives you the minus. Without the option key, it's just plus. And then um, you can change the zoom with Z. Z, click, zoom in, option key, zoom out. 